In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Majimoto from SugarFX. Majimoto is a unique and powerful group of effects that allow you to animate your footage in complex ways, often with no keyframing. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but this effect works in motion and After Effects as well. Majimoto comes with a bunch of effects, transitions, and titles. You can see everything together in the Themes browser under Majimoto. Let's take a look at a few of the effects to see what they can do. I like this effect called dropping in. It looks like it's ready to go for a racing promo. Let's customize it. The timing slider controls the timing of the clip coming into frame. I'll drop this a bit to bring it in quicker. We can customize the frame around the video clip. It's set to curved, but we have various ripped, rough, and cut edges and some film strip effects. I like this one called framed. I can control the blending of the frame by choosing different blend modes. Normal just uses a solid color, and the different modes have different effects. I'll go with Normal and then customize the color. Let's turn on the text and label and add some text. We can customize the font with the on-screen controls. Clicking the Edit Title button in the on-screen controls pops up a text window that allows us to change the text at any time. Back in the parameters, we have further control over font size and color. If I check the label box, you'll see a rounded label will appear under the text. It defaults to black, but if I change the color, it will appear next to my frame. This is handy if you're compositing and want your text to pop. I'll leave it turned on, but adjust the roundness and intensity, which is an opacity slider. I'll turn motion blur on to high and adjust the shutter angle until I like the look and quality of the blur. I have another clip on my timeline. Let's take a look at some of the transitions that come with Majimoto. I like this one called Force and Bounce. The first thing you'll notice is that it's drawn a customizable background gradient. It looks great, but I'm going to composite this whole sequence on another background, so I'll turn it off. We have a lot of the same controls here, but I'm pretty happy with the way this one looks. I'll just turn on my motion blur and adjust the shutter angle as before. Let's end my sequence with a title. Under Titles in the Theme Browser, you'll see some of the familiar styles we've just shown as effects. I'll select my third clip as a range selection by hitting X, and then in the Titles Browser, select Slide In Glitch and hit Q, and it will attach to my clip with its length set to the clip length. You'll notice that it's already placed the clip it's attached to within the frame. We have available to us many of the same options that we had in our original effect, so I'll match them to the style we've developed. I'll uncheck the build in and build out of the animation so the video clip stays on screen. Lastly, I'll mention the Majimoto FX Designer, available both as an effect and a title. These give you all the power that's under the hood of Majimoto and allows you to come up with exciting animations of your own, controlling aspects like throw, scale, spin, and creating all of the built-in aspects we've already seen, so the options are endless. We created a start-to-finish sequence in a couple of minutes with Majimoto. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.